Why, hello there. I look extremely omnipresent and I look dark as all get out. Jesus Christ. My bad, I do not know how to gauge this, and this is scaring me to a degree. Hmm. Interesting, you know. Okay. I think this right here is slightly better. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah, I think putting on a shirt is going to be appropriate right now. Screw a shirt, I'm gonna be one of those guys that literally puts on a jacket or something like that instead of whatever, because I feel like being lazy. And this actually feels pretty comfortable, so if you think I look weird in it, that's your problem. Also, my lips are somehow red and I look like a clown right now. Huh. Oh, well, I guess we're just gonna run with it. Hmm. I'm definitely gonna need, like, another light source to just man th this is like some early 2000s type crap hold up maybe if i set it to like a better angle like right here there we go and i can look a little fuck it i hate how awkward this is and all that junk You know, this is the start of everything. I'm probably going to adjust the camera again, but this is just the start of a lot, you know? I'm actually planning on taking this route of content creation and everything more serious now. And with this late night video, um, this is just a reminder to myself and something new for y'all that I'm going to make a new, a, eh, a new channel called Mr. Black's Dog. Now, it's up to me if I still want to stream this off of um, Twitch underneath the moniker of Grim Fiend or whatever the heck, but I'm going to make it work somehow, you know? We're just going to talk about random stuff that comes to my mind, you know? Whether it be good, bad, weird, whatever the heck, right? that I feel comfortable with. I feel extremely unfortunate if you do not feel comfortable with it, but then again, um, I hate telling people this, but it is always your option to leave. I hope you can find someone or whatever that might cater towards you, or whatever, I, whatever type of content that I might put out there next might be suitable or adjacent for you. Other than that, we're just gonna continue on continuing, you know? It's just been... It's been so weird lately. I, um... How do I even go about this? There's this, um, woman within my life, and I absolutely... I care for her deeply. Almost to the point of love, you know? And 
although that does sound weird to say, especially how I phrased it, this um, is definitely how I feel. Now, in some regards, I will admit I've almost become almost reminiscent of a slave to my emotions and everything like that, but I've had to get a better grip at some things, so. Also, during this commentary, I'm probably going to be saying some very absurd stuff, and I might even be a little bit too much into the game, but I promise if you do comment or say anything, I will, I'll try to say something, you know? I like interacting with people. The thing is with my energy, my energy is more or less of a... You're either going to get purely chaotic or just completely chill. Either way doesn't bother me too much, but what I like to do is I like to embody somebody else's energy if they're there, so that way it stabilizes everything, you know? Now we're going to be playing Cutthroat. It's basically multi-teams, three versus two other teams, you know? Oh, Jesus Christ, that's a lot. That Jesus. Was dodgy. Now, Cutthroat's pretty weird because, well, seconds remain. you can still get tagged, you can still get tapped if you, um, if you, as long as you're in a revived state, you're still able to come out and be alive, you know? Other than that, if you can't do that or if you get flat out clapped like that, yeah. That's a pretty good example. Worst part is you got killed by somebody named Filthy Grunt. I'm pretty sure he's about to get sniped too. Just capture the flag, man. You may as well just say... Oh yeah, that's right, they're watching it. Watch, he's gonna capture the flag because he's one. Nice. Complete the rest of it. Smart. Real smart. See, look at that. And now the enemy team is complaining. Oh, never mind. That's his team. Wow. But besides that, everything on my end has just been pretty weird. I had a breakup um, that was astronomically weird for me. Because I had a bunch of stuff in tandem that um, kind of deterred me, you know? But now I feel more mode. Oh, shh. Now I feel more motivated to continue my YouTube endeavors, um, content creation, and everything else. I really, really love Call of Duty. Come on, peek. Yeah, I probably should have saved that grenade. Uh, I should have been watching that the whole time. But you know what they say, you live and you learn. Oh, he just rapid fired. He's lucky that that recoil um, kicked into it. Everyone's been using the MCW. I know it's the ACR and it's just oh, ridiculous, no. but lord. That gun is going to be the absolute meta for the beta. That was a lose lose situation because even if you managed to take out that Makarov right there, that guy up top would have been. I mean, look at this. He killed our entire team. He literally shot my teammate in the balls and was going to down that guy. If only I was here earlier and maybe this was a different map, we could have had a chance, but oh well. But, yeah, just a weird breakup on my end. Um, it really did shake me, I'll tell you that. Um, weird thing is, is I think I still have a chance. Um... Like I said, I'm only comfortable revealing what I want people to know. Just know that I love this girl with my bad. I hate, here's the thing about me, right? I absolutely hate using the word girl because, well, you're describing a girl. Someone who is 18 and under. I like to use the phrase lady or women. It's just like a personal thing. If anybody else uses it, I don't care. It's like, I won't allow myself to say it, you know? Because it just strikes me as weird and all that, you know? But if someone were to just act a certain way, be weird or whatever the heck, yeah, I'm going to address you as a girl, and I might even address you as a bitch as well. 
but I, the word bitch is reserved for everyone who is... I don't discriminate with that word, that's all I can say. But due to some things with my relationship or relationships with others, I just really don't know if that'll pan out because she has some stuff going on, you know? And I have some stuff going on. If we actually do choose to continue this, I will be absolutely more than ecstatic about it. If she chooses not to, I'm probably gonna be broken. Oh shit! Throwing grenade! I got you. Yeah, I couldn't see nothing. We've taken the lead. Come on, get some. Come on, buddy. Get that door, make my day. Only you remain. Finish the mission. God damn it. Stand by. I thought I was gonna be slick with that. Switching sides. See, the best part about this is that um, I'm currently on PS5, so if you wanted to just go ahead and um, open up a party or something like that, you don't have to hear people in game chat. Reloading. This also helps me focus more in, an, um, more in on what I want to say, you know? That's what I get for not paying attention to my awareness. To my awareness. We might have to pull out a striker. The UMP-45 is one of my all-time favorite guns. I, I can guarantee you that. Normally, I'm always in my element, but I'm still trying to get accustomed to these new maps and all that. I've played every Call of Duty up to date since World at War, and actually my first Call of Duty. This time. I'm not gonna lie, he should have been aware, but he wasn't. But at the same time, can you blame him? He got shot in the balls. The shaft as well. They were just they were like bumping up on that flag, man. Cutthroat. Jesus. Yeah, no man, the god dang, yeah. I said the same thing too. That is highly unfortunate. I don't even know what else to say besides that, because I feel like that guy could have done a lot better, but at the same time, like, what could have you really done? Now, we do have a very good advantage right here. We can just sit up top and really mind our own business. Only problem is our teammate decided to deviate from the plan because, um... 30 seconds remain. Being very confident pays off. But also being aware of your own limits and everything pays off, too. Changing mags. And they know we're here. You're gonna blow up that car. Ten seconds remaining. We're gonna go in for a finishing kill. Moving here. Over time. Dying on. Are you fucking serious? Oh, we should have captured the flag. That's our fault. Huh. It's my fault, but it's also not my fault. If only my teammate decided not to off himself, and if the other one back there decided not to be a pussy and um, push up with me, then we would have been able to do something. I'm very sorry for the language, but that's how I do to feel more adequate at um, playing cutthroat in very high intellect-like games such as Search and Destroy and Cutthroat, 
we're just gonna stick to mosh pit. We're gonna try to level our guns up as best as we can, but yeah, yeah. I have I have nothing else to say besides just yeah. Normally, I'm not much of a talker. I like to just isolate, just be by myself. Just huh? They said this guy joined me. Who the heck is Sputzy? Weird. Um, oh yeah, we're playing on high rise. What I like about these new maps is that, well, they're iconic maps. We are getting them back from Modern Warfare 2 and even some parts of 3. It's just polarizing because, well, they happen to be bigger. They happen to have more crap on them. You know, they change it up for a more modern audience, but... I can complain about it, but they're not going to change it. Because we all need to understand something. Whenever someone says that we have a problem, what they mean is, it's a me problem. Not we, just me. I have a problem with it, and maybe some of you all do too. But if we happen to make big enough noise, we could change it. But, in all honesty, I also like it as much as I hate it, so watch this. Heck yeah. What I do dislike um, a good deal, I don't know why I do, it's just off-putting, is when you do the intros, right? Oh yeah, I'm gonna just stand right here so I don't get sniped. Oh wow. Uh, it's like Israel and all the other crap all over again. Yeah, like I said, you should have watched out for the snipers. Take my own advice, right? We're taking Bravo. My brain got confused right there. I was just like, which one should we prioritize? That's one. Fuck not. Yeah, see, I got them back anyway. Watch your fire. Securing objective Bravo. Hmm. Let's play the fancy game. We're taking Charlie. That's a tragedy. I'll be taking. It. I did say I'll be taking it now. Beautiful. Now, when you do play with um, some of these guns, now look, when you shoot, you actually appear on the map. Some of these attachments are, well, suited adequately to allow you to stay off the radar. You know what I mean? Enemy securing Bravo. Securing objective Charlie. Enemy securing Alpha. Mm, should have stayed on target more. See, like, watch this, right? You see where it says undetectable by radar? Now, that means when you shoot, right, you're not going to be on the bloody radar. What we want on this gun right here is this gun fires sort of fast, so you want as much recoil control as possible. When you're also playing, you really, really want to pay attention to your map. You saw how I was able to get those two kills, uh, eh, kill so quickly, was because of looking at the map. Hold on, I think we... Okay. I have my sensitivity set up really, really high, because that's what I like to play, like. Now, I'm always going to say this, um, tandem with some, ah, dang, I wasn't aware of that guy at the bottom. But I'm also going to say this in tandem with a lot of other things. I know that a lot of older gentlemen, um, look, the thing is, I'm 20, right? I've been playing, I've been playing this series since I was... Four years old, to be fair and honest. I played since Modern Warfare 1, and I'm talking back in 07. So, I feel like I'm a very long time veteran. I know what I'm talking about. Um, I know how to play. I haven't joined any tournaments or anything, but no matter what group or whatever the hell I'm in, I'm always the best. And, nah, I'm joking, I'm not the best. I'm just slightly more better than... Are you sniping me? Yeah, they're sniping. Uh, 
I just happen to be the guy that teaches my teammates or friends or whoever or leading more things than I should. And it's a bit slightly off putting because the thing is, um, I really, really want to go out my way to help people, but a lot of people are convinced that they're already good at something that they're not. And I know I still have very, very far to go on honing in on my skills and all that, you know? Because this game is very... I thought I, I thought that was a Simtex. The thing that I can say about my skills is that they're just slightly above average, you know? Will I still slip up and everything from time to time? Hell yeah. Maybe more times than I should, you know? But if you can do this one thing, and I mean this one thing, you will improve at literally anything, right? I don't know how there was two of them and he still- hold on. Come on, pack it up, pack it up. I see you over there. Check your damn fire. That was a damn ammo box. That feels slow. Do not lose control. Friendly SAE. I don't know if that guy was AFK or not. Enemy securing Charlie. No. I almost forgot the original point of what I was saying. If you can carry this over with literally anything that you do, so long as you learn from your mistakes, you will absolutely be better at whatever the hell you choose. Whether it be gaming, just even making like stuff out of pots, um, clay, whatever, right? If you even want to be a YouTuber or just whatever the hell you set your eyes on. And I know it is ridiculously hard in some cases. It truly is like maybe you have a child, maybe you have someone you have to take care of or just whatever circumstance. You see that right there with sniping? Watch this, he's going to get a little bit desperate. He's going to try to get more visibility on me. Then that guy right there, I think I didn't see him. Hold on. You get better at everything over time. Even if you suck at something, right? And I mean really, really suck at something. So long as you just keep trying and then seeing where you went wrong. Okay, that just happened. And then seeing where you went wrong. Even watching something like Kill Cams. I know I didn't watch that one, so I really can't talk too much. But even watching something like Kill Cams or whatever the hell on this, you will infinitely do better. I know it's going to sound easy, but I'm not going to tell you to believe in yourself. You can literally do whatever you think you're capable of. If you think you aren't, you aren't. You literally are what you are. And I don't have everything figured out. I'm just saying whatever the hell that I want to. You can take that whether you choose to or not. If there is something that my... That the special woman within my life has told me was, um... This. I'll leave you with this. Two things, be fair and honest. Some things just aren't meant for you yet. What that means is that within due time, it'll happen. Whether it be months, a week, a year, whatever time. Just keep going on it. Whether it be people, career... <laughs> he got me pretty good. Enemy Just anything. Alpha. And then the other thing that I also want to impart on the is the Just what the hell? We control two oh, objectives. I thought someone was behind me. We're losing Alpha. I almost forgot the other thing. I should probably start writing objective this stuff down. I just don't want to lose that like authenticity, you know. The enemy holds all what Do I absolutely hate about back. this. Gun is that when you shoot it, right? Securing it feels like it fires ridiculously fast, but it's like I'm also firing a marshmallow shooter. 
This gun and the SVA are probably some of the worst guns in the beta and all that right now. Securing objective Alpha. Securing objective Charlie. I think I got that guy. We control Alpha. So, hmm. I thought that guy was still down there. If you're ever in like a 1v1, yeah, if you're ever in like a 1v1 situation, you want to see it from the perspective of like, if I was this guy, what would be the best way to go about and to get, you know? Sometimes you might hold the advantage, sometimes they might hold the advantage. It's up to you to see what you want to see. We're taking Bravo. See, now that guy, he knew I was going to be up to something. He faked me out and proceeded to blitz me. Don't know how that connected, but yes. Hmm. What I also like about this beta, or what this is right now, is that... A lot of people don't know, but you actually have 150 health, right? And most standard Call of Duty games, you have 100 health, right? And this game, you have 150. Meaning, it's slightly harder to kill you, because I remember in Modern Warfare 2, people complained about the time to kill being so fast. Here we go. Objective Charlie, secure. That actually worked. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I wanted to tell y'all. A lot of y'all, a lot of people are too scared to just go out there and do something. And it's honestly understandable where you're coming from, but at the same time, if you decide to let that hold you back... Hold on, let me get this guy. God damn it. If you decide to let that hold you back, right, you are going to absolutely get shafted into the abyss. You're gonna have to take a risk, because that's what it ultimately is, taking a bloody risk. Now, you, what I like to do, right, this is something that helps me out, is I like to weigh things of this system, the lesser of two evils, right? If you have, like... Oh, that's a teammate. If you have something like the power of the threat, hold up. Jesus. Another thing, if you shoot at someone, make sure you can absolutely kill them. And this is going to be a little bit more... Well... Contradictory, because I literally just said if, um... You take risk. Make calculated risk, is what I mean. Bloody Agent Christ, everyone thinks they're a fucking phase member at this point. But you're gonna have to take risk with so many fucking things that is just. If you're my age, at least, you know? Damn, we got blitzed. I thought we had that. I'm not gonna make any excuses, cause I could've went for the head, but I didn't. I was way too confident in my ability right there, and it bit me in the ass. But to reinstate this is that you're going to have to be more into taking risk and all that, you know? If you want something so bad, you know it's going to have to come with a sacrifice or something that might hold you back. If it doesn't pay off. For example, you want to have a business and you don't have the money for it. You can take it alone or whatever the hell for it. Me, personally, I hate owing people money. In fact, I will try to actively... Literally pay them back before even helping myself or whatever the hell. Because I just hate owing people money. I'll just be like, you know what, let's get this squared away, let's get this done. I don't want to have to think about it, I don't want to have to remember it, no. None of that, and it gets done. Another thing I can absolutely tell y'all too is that if you do have a certain special someone within your life, if... Who knows how I might feel about this later on down the line, just... 
if you can try to hold on to them please absolutely try to hold on to them because you would be absolutely lucky within this life and I mean absolutely lucky within this life to have someone that genuinely cares about you outside of family that's conditional what the? there's no audio oh so now the audio wants to kick in but oh wow now my face has appeared more omnipresent but yeah having that certain someone within your life is that's everything damn the footsteps are so loud i i feel like they're just everywhere like i can't tell which direction that might be my headphones who knows that guy got blitzed I got you. You're gonna come back. Or you're just gonna go over there. Also, predicting where people can end up is. The people who are really, really good at Call of Duty, they just have like a lot of built up knowledge. Knowledge in this game is absolutely helpful. Because if you can really, really outthink someone, you can. Oh shit. If you can really, really outthink someone, you can pretty much win that fight. Now, sure, some things ultimately do come down to luck. It's... Nah, I'm joking. There's too many things at play to say what it is, really, you know? Oh, I think I can snipe these guys over here. Yeah, you, got, oh, shit. you gotta take chances like that like sniping not you never know if you hesitate you're going to die simple as that got you covered oh you almost got shot macaroni Jesus. Asian Christ but yeah that's what I was saying you would be honestly That was clean. See, just doing random stuff like that leads to me just surprising myself, you know? But you would be genuinely, genuinely, like, lucky if you have someone within this life that cares about you in every aspect or more aspects than other people do. Um, I'm, I can only speak from the American experience because, well, that's where I'm from. We're just so individualistic and at times we're also materialistic as well. I do tend to envy other sorts of countries because they can have less and still be more happier than us. We're just... The way how people are seen within America are just... If you do not have the status, or the power, or the know-all that's something, you are going to be absolutely shafted into the wind. The reason that how I knew that that guy was right there, because of the, um, sound. They've really made footsteps too large, you know? Ooh, I thought he was coming from the other way. If there is no kindness within your life, what I've had to learn is I've had to become that kindness, you know? Now, I've still had momentary moments of kindness. It's just when things keep happening so much back to back, even your happy moments can turn into abysmal moments, like deep-rooted despair type moments, where it's just even remembering what made you happy or whatever it becomes painful Confirm. i got lucky with that guy and thank you teammate for hitting him down a good notch <laughs> nice shot we're gonna go ahead and take out that calm right there because that's gonna be annoying is it up top or below i'd hate if it was below
yeah, when people throw those little jammers out right there, what people don't know is that you can, um... Oh, okay, why is Makarov wearing diamonds? Who led them at the freaking DVS store? Somebody let Makarov in the icebox, goddamn. My God, I love this beta and everything, dude. Modern Warfare 3 is actually a lot of fun. I hope it continues to stay this way. Now, some other people will disagree because, well, I, at first, literally said that this is, um, oh, he beat me in that. He got a headshot. I literally said that this is overpriced DLC. I'm still going to wait literally a week after the game and all that comes out to form my opinion, and then I'll consider getting it. A lot of my friends are, um, beforehand, I wanted to see them as, like, cheap or hive-minded into, uh, oh, there's another guy in there. I wanted to see them as hive-minded or just some other type of stuff going, eh, you guys are just weird because it's like, come on now, it's literally, um, overpriced DLC for Modern Warfare 2. But some of the stuff that they have been putting out has been proving me wrong with some aspects. Such as the gameplay, absolutely phenomenal. The movement feels more faster and sturdier compared to Modern Warfare 2. With Modern Warfare 2, I felt like I had to put more effort into my movement, or just everything in general, right? When I play Modern Warfare 3, it feels more at ease. I'm gonna play We want something that doesn't falter or aim down side speed as much. I also don't want to mess up the recoil. Because this gun, it, it has a high one-tap potential. The only problem with it is... The recoil is very, very hard to control, at least for me. You're going to have to throw some stuff on there to manage that, you know? Now watch, we hit this corner, there's going to be a few people there too. But what I really, really like about... I should probably start doing separate videos for this stuff, and you know what? I actually will. But what I can say that I really, really like about the Modern Warfare 3 beta so far is that everything is very fluid, very responsive, and you can customize your gun however you want to. Giving people customization, especially um, gun-wise in a game like this, just warrants more positive reception. I should have known that I was about to get gang-banged right there. Okay. Um, I'll actually put out a review, mainly on the stuff that I like and stuff that I do not like. I'm going to try to absorb more of the map and all the other components as well. But from so far, what this game is, is pretty solid. There's, this is like an 8 out of 10, to be fair. The only reason why I say 8 out of 10, it was going to be a 7 out of 10. Because if it wasn't Modern Warfare 3, I have like a lot of nostalgia and good times with Modern Warfare 3 alone. So. It's just because it is Modern Warfare 3. It's getting that damn... Egg. See, in cases like that, when you are about to die, you kind of want to, um... Damn! You at least want to throw something out to, like, catch them and then go back and shooting them, you know? You have a kit, so it needs to be used for a reason. I mean, look at that. You can dolphin dive. You can One minute remaining. slide cancel. Even reload cancel is back, too. See? A lot of things that were in Modern Warfare 2 seem to be fixed, you know? He thought he escaped me. We got that other guy right there. 30 seconds remain. 
No, look, they're gonna be... The footsteps are so damn all over the place. It feels like... The mission is complete. Good work. It's kind of hard to dis um, decipher them. And I also think it might be my headset too, so... I'll play one more game, then I'll leave this alone, and I'll chop and edit all of this crap later, you know? At first, because of that breakup that I had, I mean, now we're just... It feels weird, right? When you and a person, you have to split because of reasons, and they weren't bad reasons. It was just stuff that limited you, you know? And that person as well. It's like now we have to keep constantly going. Because that's just how life goes. Time will heal everything. And it, it just hurt. It, it, it just hurt so much at the beginning. Because I felt like I really cared. And maybe some things had happened to her that limited her from feeling the same way too with, with some things I'm not gonna lie though if she does watch this I don't know if she would feel like irritated or whatever though because I do care what she thinks to a degree it just how do I say this if she watches this I'm gonna feel weird and then if she brings it up I'm gonna be sitting here like Shit, maybe this wasn't a good idea. I just don't want to take away, like, the genuine, authentic feel or whatever the hell from all of this. I say... I say that a lot. The genuine, authentic feel. Hold up. I gotta buy another damn headset pretty soon because if you watch one of my Omegle clips, um, that Omegle clip was from a very distant time ago. I just had it lingering on my, um, oh shoot. Yeah, I just had it lingering on my laptop, or my bad, my PC for a good bit. And I said, you know what? I find this pretty funny. Let me share this with some people who would also think it's pretty funny. Huh. I didn't even know. Hold on. Gotcha. Yeah, I was just like, you know what? I find this funny. Um, I don't know. My mentality with YouTube and all this other type of stuff now is, I'm only gonna make stuff that I wanna watch, you know. And sure, that can help me. Sure, that can also hinder me. It's, at the end of the day, I learn stuff is what you really make it out to be. Damn. Do you kill? Them? Oh, they're behind. Come on up here, buddy. Booty booty. I'll just wait for you here. Fuck me. I got you, Changing yeah, we were lucky to even get away from that in the first place. Ah, uh, okay, that's three of them. That was a firing squad getting ready. Maybe I should run around with a shotgun. This shotgun right here that I have has um, slug rounds on it. It's called solo rounds. They do have a good one tap potential on them, I'll tell you that. But you have to be like dead on accurate. They're gonna come around through the other way right here. I feel like that fired it. We at least probably should have died at the same time, but it is what it is. 
to you. That's what they'll do to you, especially if you're up close. We're gonna charge with the grenade up and bot it. Okay. Oh lord. We're gonna go with something that's um, more higher caliber and also automatic. He was just waiting. Sucks to suck, buddy. You probably shouldn't have camped the same area. You guys don't want to be like that. I'll tell you that now. That little drone that I just released right there, that's one of my all-time favorite things now, you know? That could have been bad. That guy got too up close and he wasn't able to react. If the hard ones relocate, we may want to get a head start over there. A lot of teammates are dying right there at that door. I thought pre firing would have done a world of good. If you can, um, going prone or crouching will help you. But it's also like a double edged sword while you're shooting at someone, right? Because manage oh lord yeah if you manage to hit it off um it's going to be quite nice it lowers your visibility it lowers the chances of them hitting you but if they do hit you you are going to feel it because unfortunately it can turn into a headshot and especially if you're playing against smarter players they're just going to aim lower instead of higher confirming next hard point Mm. I would like to use this again. Target area updated. Oh, it just sounds so meaty. Listen to that. Like, if you listen to how some of these guns sound, it is just... It sounds like it's gonna do some damage. Reloading. This thing sounds like a truck and it, is, it hits like that too. I'm I'm reloading. I'm hoping that I don't get flaked. Yeah, flank behind you. Yeah, and I did. It's kind of hard gauging some of these things, but it is gaugeable nonetheless. Okay. Let's at least try to get killed so I can do a full, um... Wow, the moment I said that too. I was just gonna customize my gun. Loading. Explosions and everything out the walls. In there. But back to what I was saying, because I've just not regained what I wanted to say. Oh, that thing fires faster. Damn. Wait, listen to this. Listen to this. Oh, hell yeah. Am I dead? Yeah. Okay. I just don't want this thing to lag too much, you know? Oh, 
Bye bye. Reloading. I'm reloading. Captain's got your back. Enemy oh my god. I'm in love with this weapon right here already. Let's throw a side on here. Everybody coming up top over here, and then just um going in. I'm hit. Destroy the target. Is he good? Friendly UAV on station. This is gonna be my favorite marksman rifle right here. My Designated marksman rifle is what this is. My play style is... Yeah, we're just gonna leave the area. My play style is more of a jack-of-all-trades type of deal, you know? I like to be comfortable using any type of gun, especially SMGs. I would like to specialize into SMGs, but um, I know that that would kind of hinder me. Because, say, for example, you want to, you call for a situation that needs like another weapon at use, right? You can't use an SMG over long range. You can, but it's not going to be very effective, you know. I want to be as well at first with what the hell? The fuck? I was clicking the. Okay. Yeah, this gun just needs a lot of recoil adjustments. The mission is complete. Good work. We won. I'm really surprised that we won. See, look, like that guy right there, his recoil is absolutely minimal, and he shot, well, around and on his teammates' toes. Yeah, we did pretty horrible that game. But, I'm going to leave y'all off with this note. Like I said earlier, if you happen to be horrible with something, you always have the potential to get better at it. Because, I like to see it like this. If you're at the bottom, the only way is to go up. You know? Um, blah, blah, blah. Changing mode requires restart. I'm going to just get ready to wind on down and um when i wake up i'm gonna have a lot set in the motion because i really feel motivated i feel like this can take off i feel like this can do pretty well you know and i would love for you to be a part of it so i'm gonna figure out something tomorrow we're gonna start up a new channel and my main channel grim theme i'm going to continue doing what I want to on there. Although my siblings would beg to disagree. They almost want to crucify me for it as well. Dang, I still can't believe that they put Nicki Minaj and 21 Savage in. I love them. And maybe they do play the game a lot. It's just... 21 Savage, I can see. Nicki Minaj. I see and I don't see, you know? You know, let's just look at it. Jesus Christ. That's almost on par with Valeria. I'm more of a Laura Croft simp though. Yeah, and I use the word term. I use the term simp to that degree because the things I would do no nah, I'm joking I got a woman that looks like that in ooh -wee. I am a blessed man indeed I love these things right here the um 9mm diamond thing just has like no recoil to it Hold on. I promise this will be the last thing that I'll end this video, okay? 
I find it funny how I'm looking at my face and I look like I'm just tired of everything. Which I am. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm not. See, look at this. Beautiful. We might want to change that laser though. Before Modern Warfare 3 does come out on this channel, Mr. Blackstock, uh, I find it funny. I'm streaming on my Grimfiend channel, but I'm also going to be uploading this to my Mr. Blackstock. I don't know if I should do a voiceover or whatever, but I'll figure this out. Also, she was right. My forehead is pretty big, but it's big. It looks good in a good way, you know? Like, I'm just, my head is so big. It's filled with so much knowledge, you know? <laughs> I'll probably start making some, um, actually, no, I know for sure I'm gonna make some Modern Warfare 2 classes, some guides and some other stuff, so that way you can still enjoy this game, and, um, whenever everything carries over to Modern Warfare 3, I hope some of it can, some of the knowledge that I know can impart over to you as well. I should probably put a sight on this gun. Hmm. I don't want it to be like too small or too little, you know? I want something that just fits. Excuse me. Something that just fits right there, you know. It's always a little bit hard trying to find something right for you, you know. I want you to know this, right? And I genuinely do mean this. I'm literally going to put down everything so I can have a heart-to-heart -heart with you. If you don't have anyone within your life that cares for you the same way that you care for others or whatever the heck, just keep staying in there. I know that at times it gets extremely rough, but if you do hang in on there and you... I know a lot of people don't want to do this, especially nowadays, because, well, I think we've accustomed ourselves to looking at so much crazy stuff on the news that we think that the world is crazy. The world's crazy. It's just a dependent case of, do you want to put yourself out there to take that risk? And a lot of y'all would go, no. That's okay. But remember, it's a risk, because as much as things can go bad... Things can also go good as well. If you want to take that risk, that's up to you. If you do not, I do not blame you. Just, we have to learn to stop complaining. And that's going to be ironic because, well, I'm saying, we need to stop complaining. And then watch me make a couple of videos later and someone might even clip this going, yeah, this motherfucker's complaining. <laughs> I'll be fine with it. I really will be. Once you develop, like, a sense of self, things tend to go your way a little bit more. Also, I've been thinking, probably later on down the line, like, once I get everything bumping off, the only reason why I even want to get a lot of money, stuff, or whatever the heck, is just to provide my siblings a house, take care of my simple bills, and provide more value to people than what I was given early on, early in life, you know. You know, looking back at a lot of things now, I do see that some people try to help me, and that was ultimately my fault that I didn't take it. It's just, I want to be able to pass along to you the same benefits or 
whatever was bestowed upon me. I just want to help. Nothing more. No, I'm joking. I want to help y'all out more than what I can, and nothing less. Also, stop staring into my eyes. Look at my eyes. I am literally dead inside. I don't think you want these. Like, no, I'm joking. On a good note, please. Please stay out of most trouble and stay safe if you can.